doom scrolling on TikTok made me realize that I might want to save a post and then forget about it the next day. But I see a little animation that also vibrates my hand and gives me hope that I'm not wasting my time. Since he was such a good boy, I decided to build him with React and GSAP. I took a screenshot of that icon and went to this website, then tried to first vectorize that icon and then remove the background. This turned out to be a drug simulation, so after that failure I went to this website. I started with React, Vite and GSAP. Before we dive into the code, let's quickly review each component of this animation. We have a bookmark icon that squeezes and gets back to normal with eases. So I went to Figma and used that icon that we created and decided to remake it. Then I added a squeezed version of it, and a few others. Let's put them aside for now and get into the code. First, delete all the unnecessary CSS and everything inside app.tsx except for the app function. For state management, I use the stand and define the types with a state that checks for the bookmark and a function to toggle between the states. Then I created a bookmark component containing all the SVGs from the Figma icons. Except I added a ref to each element, a onclick for the container, and replaced the path with a constant that will define in just a minute. For the path value, we need the squeezed version and the default. Let's go ahead and define the refs and the states, then add a use effect with the state in the dependency array. Define a timeline, set the initial values, change the color to that yellow color immediately after each click or state change, squeeze that shit down, notice how the starting point of this animation is in parallel with the previous one, and then scale it up immediately after and go to original path just like the animation. The ease that I found closest to the TikTok version was this one. Finally, I scaled it back to normal and added a cleanup to cancel the animation if the user changes the state. Put that inside the app and you should see this. Sorry, this. Then we have this ring animation. The SVG was copied from Figma, added a ref to the circle and the container, and after defining the refs and the state, created a timeline set the initial state, and if it's bookmarked, I give the circle a color, scale it up in parallel, and remove the stroke width at the same time. A cleanup to cancel the animation that next up we have these particles. Went to Figma, created them, copied the SVG, put it right here, ref and a CSS class for each element. Then I kinda did the exact same thing as the ring, except this time each particle is animated separately. Also, the scale part happens in some milliseconds before the last one ends, which is in parallel to the other one, thank you very much. Clean that shit to cancel the animation before the use. Finally, I wrapped each part of the animation inside the absolute div to get behind the bookmark icon. I didn't use Tailwind and decided to use inline CSS because it was, wait for it, relatively easy. Let's add some CSS. Actually, let's separate each component and put them inside their own files. Also, don't forget to do the same for Zustand. Tell me what you think and it would be nice if you criticize this. I will start with not being able to resize this icon unless we scale it down, which makes this whole thing a complete waste of time. I added the live demo on the code. Thank you for watching and have a good day.